Here's another game. I was black against Eurypium. The time control was three minutes with one increment of the second. That is on each movie where both players get one second. The opening was the Nimso Indian Classical E32. So let's take a look. <coughs> D4. Knight F6. C4. A6. Knight C3. Bishop B4. Queen C2. Uh, other moves, of course, in this position are E3, Knight F3. In some cases, Bishop G5, and of course, a bunch of other moves. But that plays Queen C2 in case. Uh, well, of course, if Black takes, then he doesn't need to take necessarily have to take the the pawn, but the queen. In some cases, black plays knight c4, and the queen moves, and that pushes e5. Uh, and of course, the move like f3 doesn't work. We have to queen take queen g's h4 check. And if g3, the knight just takes, and white can't take back because then he loses the exchange over here on h1. So that's one variation. So anyway. Uh, Play castles. A3. Bishop takes C3. Of course, there are there are other alternatives like Bishop B7. But then, why well, can't get something going on in center with moves like F3, E4, or even E4 right away? So, usually Black takes like I did in this game. Bishop takes C3. Check. Queen takes C3. B6. Getting the bishop out. And then. Having this diagonal, and of course, the a4 square is always something that white is eyeing on. Bishop g5, bishop b7, f3, preparing e4, h6, bishop h4, d5, and now of course e4 is not possible. e3, knight b to d7. C takes D5, Knight takes D5, and here the Queens come off. Bishop takes D8, Knight takes C3, Bishop H4, Knight comes back. Black, I suppose, could play. Bishop takes C7, then Knight D5, and of course this pawn over here will, would hang. So. For example, bishop d6, knight x e3, uh, king f2, knight c2, rook, I don't know, maybe rook d1 or something, rook f to c8, something like that. So anyway, bishop goes back to h4, knight d5, bishop f2, c5, e4, knight e7, bishop b5, bishop c6, takes, takes, knight e2, this is all opening theory, as far as I know, uh, should be yes. Rook f2, d8, for example, if one idea could be that Y plays and move like d5 at one point, so then of course the rook will be here and after knight e7. It's, I don't know, it's, it's not so easy to say which is better than the other, but castle is long. c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight d5, king b1, uh, knight takes d4, rook takes d4, rook king f8, bringing the king closer to him. To these files, which is uh, a very good idea, as we'll see. King e e e8, rook c7, king rook to d7. Uh, whoops, okay. Rook, rook takes d7, knight takes d7, bishop g3, e5. And my next move will, will, will be king e8. And if, of course, black can't play, sorry, white can't play, uh, stupid move like Rook b7, and then because then we would just lose it, lose the exchange after takes on d7 over here. Of course, black would lose the pawn, but well, that's no way to play. King c2, <coughs> king d8, 
rook c3, rook c8, a4. Rook c7, I'm trying to win some sort of tempo. For example, if white would take now, my, my king would be come up one. Square free, so to speak. But well, of course, white didn't take. b4, a6, bishop h4 check, f6, bishop f2 attacking the pawn, or potential attacking the pawn. b5, a6, b5, a6, b5, bishop e3, and here I exchange the rooks because now my, the pawn, of course, is blocking not only a4 but also c4. So it's okay, white king doesn't have any way through. King e3, king d6, just bring the king close to the center. g3, h5. Of course, one thing about the, I mean, if you compare this knight to this bishop, is that my knight is not attacking any of white's pawns. But on the other hand, it's very difficult for white, although. My pawns are on the black uh, dark squares, but there's no real way, real way for white to ever get through anywhere. The only move would be either bishop h6 or f8. Of course, that's impossible. The knight protects protects pretty much everything here. We can't come. There's no way through. H h4, king c6. G4. Of course, I don't, I don't take this pawn because then. This pawn here on h4 could become dangerous because, you know, I mean, you, you, it's it's not a good idea. So just play g6, and that would also, of course, leave my pawn on a white light square. Bishop h6, king d6, takes, takes, f4. Of course, I don't take, I just play king e6, f5 check, king d6, and as you'll see, there's no way through. <coughs> the knight is on a light square, so the bishop can. There's no way for the bishop to actually attack it, and even if he would take it, and I would take it back. The white king can't come in anywhere because this pawn on h5 attacks this square, and this on e5 attacks this square. And of course, this pawn over here also does a good job, so there's no way through. And uh, so the game ended in a draw. So it was an okay game. I mean, again, it was against a very strong computer chess engine, so I'm happy with that. I was also black, and uh, it always makes life a little bit more difficult on the board, so to speak. But it, it can work. Okay, I hope you enjoy this clip and I'll see you soon.